like, and I have a semi-legal share, because I'm really, I was really commercial. It's a share, and I paid 7,500 a month, uh, for 7,000 to begin with, for a share where I didn't pay electricity, water, or anything. I just paid in 7,000 and I had my phone. But as time went on, it was harder and harder to raise the money, and I wasn't not for profit. And I was getting nervous, and I was selling paintings and doing everything I could. And I just I didn't have enough people, and I couldn't make it. So he came to me in November last year. I had paid all my rent, which was 7,500, up to date, and an $18,000 prepaid. The deposit was always a prepaid for the next year. And I needed to have another prepay in a month. And he said, you won't have it, will you? And I said, no, I don't think I can make it. So, and I've always fought being a not-for-profit. He said, well, why don't you become a not-for-profit? And I thought he meant that he was going to let up on me. But he said, I have this woman, Ella. She'll do everything. You won't have to do anything. So I said, OK. So we started the not-for-profit. And she did it, but not quite right. She got someone pro bono. They didn't do bylaws. They didn't do conflict of interest. And we only got Sue Haskins from theater talk, Margaret Renegar didn't want to be in, so he made the three and the other himself, me and Sue. And at that point, you see, at, at the previous point, I thought he was going to let up on demanding the money because he said you have to pay every time. At that point, he thought he owned a third of me, my 27 years of labor, my whatever, and I had been working every day. And he don't want to work every single day, trying to make the money, the pen, and the nervous. And so we had began having meetings, and one day I decided I can't do this. And I said to him, you know, all I need is a room, a simple room. I want to teach. I said, I can't do all this. Other. I can't expand. I, I, don't, I don't want anything but a place. And I have to find a place that's cheaper, and I can't, I'm going to die. It's going to die. I have to worry about money. I can't do it. And he, he went like this, and from then on, life was hell. He was furious with me. I had betrayed him. He thought he was going to run my business, make a lot of money as a not-for-profit, and pay for his building. You know, he didn't care about my health. He still was demanding the money. He raised the rent for the last, he gave it me an option, 12000 for two weeks, 30000 for three months, raised the rent to 8500 or whatever. So Sue and I were on the board, and I asked, I wanted to expand, and he went on and on. Are finally he resigned. I have seven on the board. He still wouldn't give me my deposit money back on the keys. I paid him absolutely everything that I should have paid him according to what we did with the thirty thousand for three months and all. And I I started looking for something in my budget, three thousand to four thousand. So I have this. It's like a miracle. There's no place. I looked at tons of places around. No place for three thousand. Anywhere except Grand Street Settlement, they showed me a place that they wouldn't rent it to me because they had someone part-time in it, they weren't going to move the person, but someone in good, with good bills said you could have this gorgeous room. And so I want to work on getting the gorgeous room for 3000 And then even though I wrote and said, well, you have an old folks home, and I think it's good that you provide housing for old folks, but it wouldn't be wonderful if you could show that there was a really old person still working and you could help a really old person who still had a job and give to the community and all that. And I said, and I'll give you five free classes every time that's worth 4000 a month, and my people give money, not a whole lot, but a little, and you'll have people supporting your project, and we'll buy your coffee on the ground floor. That's not the way the world works. But I got this miracle. That's good. Yeah. So, <laughs> long enough story? It's a big yeah. story. What the Wall Street Journal got bucks up to. Did you see the story in the Wall Street Journal? Yeah. That's February two weeks ago. Charles Patsy. Uh -huh. I'll send it to you. I'm gonna, you're going to put your email address here, and I'm going to send you everything tonight. I know I took your email address, and I never sent it to you, because I have a pile of email addresses on my my computer area. And I have a, what's your email address? H-E-S-S-E-R-T -S -S at gmail.com. Let me do it back to you. H-E-S-S-E-R-T -S -S -E at gmail.com. I'm going to send the Wall Street Journal and all the other stuff. Anyway, the first three years with Richard, I did whatever he said. He saved me. Nobody else would take me in. I didn't have a sign on the door. I respected everything he wanted and did. I paid him on time.
everything, whatever I could do, I lived to make sure he was okay. I argued with my people, they wanted me to move. I said, no, stop it. I'm here, I signed something, I'm here. And uh, once a lady dropped something and made a noise, because Richard read stuff, no, I said, don't make a noise. Don't make a noise, lady. So I did everything I could. But one day he brought in two Turkish women who wanted to photograph his turtle with a nude body. So I said, well, where will the pictures be shown? He said, he stumbled. And I said, will the pictures be sold? Because number one for me is I protect my model. Right. I have no business without good models. I have to have good faith in my models. Everyone has to say, oh, we're safe there. Everyone has to say, oh, she has the best model. That's, and I, even then I don't make money. But uh, when I said, are the pictures on the photos going to be sold? He said, oh, and he walked away with them. So I thought, he doesn't understand that my models are not his to play with and give to people. And so he's a padrone or an owner or something. My models relate to me. So I talked to the models. They said, oh, I might have ruined your possibility to have and they said, oh, no, no, you protected us, it's too long. So at that point, I realized he has that it's a capitalist and sort of Western attitude, although anyone could fall into it, of somehow you own something that isn't really yours, and you take it, and you make it better according to the way you want it. But I was fine just the way I was. And he didn't own my models. He didn't own me. And he was. At one of the meetings, Ella said, well, your writing is too personal. Mm. And then Sue's husband said, if you want to raise money, you have to be corporate. And I started almost screaming, saying, I want people on my board of directors who understand me and know what this is about. So I finally got the board of March to seven, and I have people who have drawn for me 27 years, 25 years, uh, 15 years, and Sue, who's drawn, I think, 15 years, too me, and then finally Denise in uh, 10 or 12 years. So all these people, he's off the board, and people on the board are people who know what I'm doing, so. Well, good luck. It's a big conflict in terms of the structure of the world and the ownership of the world, right? That's true. What side do you fall on? I don't fall anywhere, I just try to keep on standing and walking. You just do what? Stand and walk. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everyone says I'm a fighter, but I'm not a fighter at all, really. I'm just a survivor. <laughs> but don't cross me. <laughs> I mean, I did have to fight in the sense of Richard Conway. But I never... Yep. Because he was desperate. I know you want to have somebody that's not so desperate to when you pay the rent. The, Makes the, sense. The, yeah, that he wasn't going to... Anyway. Everybody went out to lunch, or they just left? Well, when do you start painting? Later, right? To paint. That's why I'm wearing these brumdry clothes. <laughs> you wearing clothes for painting? Yeah. Thank you. Hey, good, Gordon. He yeah. was good. Okay, Gordon was you good. Be bad now. You were Gordon, Gordon, you were good. Uh, you were good, good, Gordon. Good. You were good, Gordon. You were good, Gordon. Okay. You were good, Gordon. Okay. You were good, yeah. Gordon. You Thank you. Bless you, Gordon. Yeah, please. please. Bless. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Nature of all. Okay. Nature of all. Nature of all. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, you be good too, okay? We'll all be good. So just to say what? This, uh, what? what? It's wet? That should be dry. Oh. Is that a platform? Or? Or? Like so so we really oh, short, right. Short is <laughs> Why don't short we just decorate it? <laughs> I mean, I oh. only, it used uh, to be uh, disgusting. Oh, right, right, right. But the they will be. Um, 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 I used to know a lot of all the things my father All the windows? Okay. I call Mother and I say, Okay. Almost finished? the last window. Yes, I mean, well, the last one is still. I think I have to go on. I have to see more touch up a little bit here and there. If you get a check, I can see it. I'll lower the blinds, it's so much cooler in there. Oh, that uh, yeah. yeah, well, it's cooler around the side. It's nicer. Well, it's certainly cooler. Is that cool. your grandmother to the party? Uh, no, my mom. <laughs> because those are the only Chinese words that she would know. All that she knew. And then she would say this stuff in public, so people would know that she would know. So 
when you were to see you in Chinese words like that. Although English speaking people would not understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Interesting. Oh, what about the bathroom? Any we, we walk. There? Um, hey, this is the United States. You don't have to move. Hey, this is New York City. Oh, he tried. Thank you. He I noticed oh. everything back there. And oh. I think the bathroom may be neat in the corners. He did some um, spackling in the corners to at the ceiling to kind of seal it up. So I think tomorrow, just oh, the corners and it will need to be. Richard the ceiling and the Okay. Yeah, I mean there are some chicken place. Yeah. Okay. Is there Black enamel. Oh, you have pretty good. Insulated. Yeah. They're pretty good. I don't know if there's any insulation in the walls. Except mm -hmm. we have no heat here. That's why you're worried. I'm worried. There's no heat. But how are we going to have heat? Yes. Yes. He produces. So he, I know he won. But he's alive still. So like, let me oh. Would do. Wait, wait, wait. Not that long. It's a and, uh, Stephen Haas and I, we, we're similar. That's the way we're Yeah. And Ron, you did some beautiful pictures the other day. 
Oh, you want to shoot? Ron says, uh, 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 Ron is taking some beautiful pictures. Oh. Yeah. Wow. In the platform. Yeah, no, but, but chairs so, in front. so yeah. storage, right, for pads, right? I mean, that's uh, what they're making. I guess. Right? Yes. Yeah, they were saying, yes. Yeah. Like that's they, just lost space. Yeah. Because unless they lift it up. Uh, <laughs> you know what happened? 
Need a longer cord? Yeah. Oh, oh over there. That's pretty solid.
so Pat can start once this is up. She can start putting books here from the um, boxes. I mean, there'd be more things to do. So, are you Susan? Huh? You're Susan? Yeah. So you're the German of the... No, no, no. It's another one. Whoops. What do you do? Uh, I'm a stagehand. Oh, cool. That's nice. Huh? You Broadway? Oh. Broadway when I'm lucky. Oh. I'm in the Broadway Union. Oh, wow. I'm in the Broadway Union, um, mm. but, you know, it's, it's not a guarantee of getting work. Oh, uh, but you get to know the business, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And I used to work in art museums. Art museums? Yeah. MoMA and all those places? Yes. What, you were doing art handling and all yeah. that? Oh. It's, it's nice to hear lately that the art handlers are trying to unionize. Uh huh. What's that? <laughs> all these years after all these years. But then MoMA's closed, you know, for construction and all that. Yeah. And well, you know Fred Hat? You know Fred Hat? That rings a bell. Well, he used to draw here years ago. But now he works at the museum, MoMA, in the film department. Oh, good. I was the lone no, art installer at the Museum of the Music Image for four years. And it was amazing how they would, I would say, I need light bulbs. So they would say, oh, we don't have any money. I need nails. Oh, we don't have any money. Then at the end of the year, quick, we need to spend a lot of money. Huh. I tell you a list. Great. <laughs> Uh, in there just to, to double double check on the side of what comes in that thing. It seems a little. But it's. it's more and more. I can see my glass on that. I don't want to laugh. But was it hard to get in because you're a woman and stuff like that? Right. Uh, in construction? That looks good. Really good. That's it. So it doesn't work the block. Somebody who helped people with their problems. Somebody who helped people with their problems. For one thing, it's the most of something. Which is like thinking. Yeah, so why don't we just, we can put a little bit of We'll move it over, we'll figure out how to do it. Um, we can, uh, I'll help you with that. Uh, Oh, okay. No, that's too small. That's all short. Oh. Mostly. Yeah. That's good. So those, that's where all the big books are going to be? Yeah, that's why the Yeah, we have to have the angle. Yeah, I'm not sure we have to make it. Yeah. Right. No, I think that's true. As we go along, we'll figure it out. Okay. Wow. We can imagine. Getting into that one. 
This is not complicated. This is something really complicated, like a machine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very, very cheese and spray. Taste it in. Want another one? Well, I, I, I mean, we want to say somebody who drew well. Nobody cares if I draw well. Somebody who helped people with their problems. Nobody cares if I help people with their problems. And then, you know, for one thing, it's the most of something. Which is like thinking to be king or dominant or something like that. So I said to him, what about the last? Job for you? Well, I don't want the job, but he's, he's in trouble. With what? I don't know. Something. The electrical? So I have to solve the problem. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, it must be hard. It must be hard. Huh? I'm trying to go on vacation. Wow, school started. So. <laughs> well, we have to find the Making progress here. Let's see the door.
We got one less person. Did everybody go? Yeah, maybe you could you want you don't mind doing the whole floor here? Okay. Sweeping. Alright. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. I need to uh, what? Oh, new, wow, uh, we got a new thing. thing. When they pick it up, I think you could break it. What? How misunderstood it's called. You get some vegetables in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, an ogre or something? Ogre? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we do the same thing in all of the cities in Good to see how it's going. Olivia's from St. Louis. Yeah. Stuff at the show. Did you see it? From St. Louis? Yeah. Yeah. Like me. Yeah. You live here now? Yeah. I live on Green Street. Green Street. Yeah. Big difference. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 Yeah.